Okay, so today we are about like 38 miles out from short right now. Uh, we came over to look for the blue water and our water temperature here is about 82 degrees. And uh, the reason why we do want to attract bay blue, bay blue or black marlin too is because those are like uh, really good uh, pieces to actually target pieces to target especially right now with the uh, upcoming <laughs> tournament so this is kind of sort of practice at the same time for both for uh for the bisbees and the tuna tournaments as well uh pues una foto ahí rapidito Okay, what's up everybody? So today we're on board of the, our Hydro Sport, Pamela. We're here with our friends from San Diego, Jeremy and Igor. What? Jeremy and Igor, they, they're into the power watching industry yep. and uh, they're within the San Diego area, huh? Yes, sir. Yep. What, what part of San Diego? Like all San Diego? Yeah, we cover all of San Diego um, and uh, we're, we're based out of North San Diego. Oceanside. Oceanside specifically. Oceanside? Mm -hmm. Yep. And what do you guys do there? Just like the, 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 the power watching? Yeah, yeah. You so watch the windows and... Yeah, we primarily we watch roofs of houses, residential houses. We watch the buildings, clean the windows afterwards, sidewalks, driveways. Cool. We do large apartment complexes, things like that. Other walkways, common areas. Hotels, um, resorts. Yeah, some of the larger projects. So that's a lot. Yeah. You guys clean the whole city pretty much oh right? well, yeah we have a big we have a good network of washers uh, we brought them all down here to Cabo you know as our annual uh, company trip to uh, you know show everybody our appreciation for how hard they work and they want to come back next year yeah so they, come back, they already want to come back uh, we've been doing it now go a little over 10 years so, yes. so it's been uh, it's been awesome you know so we've been thankful so what we're doing today is actually trying to uh, target the rattles we're gonna be targeting Dorados all day. Hopefully we get enough so that they can take some back home and uh, we'll fill out the cooler. Uh, yes. <laughs> yep. Fill the cooler up. They're sure. gonna be fishing actually for a few days. This is actually the third day already. Isn't third it? day? Yep. The third day and so far they have a few Dorados already. So we're gonna to try to limit today and, uh, and do, do it again. Tomorrow, what are we gonna to do tomorrow? We're gonna to go fly the kite and go catch some big tuna. Okay, so you wanna go after the tuna? So tomorrow we're gonna to go after the big yellowfin tuna. Go big uh, or go yes. <laughs> <laughs> so hopefully we, tomorrow we'll get, we'll get to catch a 200 pounder. Si eso le movió, si, si es. Metemos las cosas? Okay. Okay, let me tell you. Oh, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> the Felipe special pose. Hey. Felipe 100%. <laughs> yep. That's why they look big, huh, in uh -huh. the pictures. Yeah, yeah. The it puts them bright right on the camera. All the comments on yeah. the YouTube, I was laughing. <laughs> Damn, that's a huge freaking Dorado. He was saying on his trip uh, to Europe, because he had to go to so many different countries. Yeah. He's paying about $1,000 just on COVID tests. Because you have really? to test every time you cross. Four people, gotta do. The difference fishing down here in Cabo compared to San Diego is just the amount of fish and how close to shore. You don't have to go far. Up there, you know, you're going usually about 30 miles out offshore minimum and you know it's a it's a full day and we don't have we have high spots that we can go to but it, it's not as consistent as it is down here i mean the, the high they have structure that you know it's going to be there and there's a lot of fish swimming around you know it makes for a fun day with a lot of fish and not spending too much fuel 
How many years have you been coming down here? About 10 years now. I uh, usually make it down almost every year. I mean, last year was uh, right. an anomaly, but uh, you know, going to be down here twice this year. The year before that, I was down here twice. And it's just a good time. And it's a short, short flight from San Diego. I mean, two hour flight and with an hour time difference. So it's basically like an hour flight home to me is what I think. <laughs> the biggest catch you've had? In, in, in Cabo, the biggest, <laughs> biggest one I had was a black marlin. Captain said it was between five and 600 pounds uh, right here off the shore. That, I mean, just maybe three miles offshore. And uh, we let it go. We didn't, you know, we didn't keep it, but uh, we got a boat side leadered it. You know, got to take our pictures, and it was just an amazing experience. Oh, that's a hammerhead shark. Yeah, baby one. Pero cuál? La mía. Y por qué? Pues que lo rompa, no? Okay. Yeah, te estoy diciendo que todavía no. He already ate half of that one, so. Yeah, but he didn't eat the whole thing. I'll tell him, don't waste the time, don't waste that bait. Yeah. Don't eat the sardine. <laughs> Lo traigo, no. Sí. Hey, Marlin. Está muy grande para ser dorado, el pinche tiburón. Oh, the big one? Igor! <laughs> Arturo! <laughs> It is. It's a small ha hammerhead. Okay, so so far we just released a uh, a shark, a hammerhead shark, small one, and uh, we caught two dorados already. We actually hooked a little um, uh, marlin for a little bit, but he got off, so we lost a, mar a striped marlin and one dorado as well. So, so far it's been actually busy and yep, we're getting there. Ahí está en un lado de ti, lo miras. Hey, help him with that, please. Ahí la tiene, ya la agarró. Vámonos, vámonos. Ahí está, 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 Two? Yeah, there's two. Yeah, there's another one right there. Oh, right to the left of the one you just heard. Oh, that's a memory. That's a memory. Oh, okay. Okay, you Acá enfrente. Acá enfrente. Allá, allá. Yo sé, espera un poquito. It was your turn, but you took forever, he said. <laughs> it was his turn. He, he was trying oh, to get another bait out? Yeah, yeah. They have a bait out. Okay, fuck the first okay. one. Oh, well, this is the third one. Mira que bonito se mira el wey. Eh, ahí la lleva. Ahí bájale un motor. Al otro. Ah, pues aquí viene ya. Sí. Ya. Yeah. Vámonos para arriba. Vámonos. No sí, gafos. Chiquito, no yeah. gafos. Sí. We got our pictures. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we did 
came over to look for the blue water and our water temperature here is about 82 degrees. The reason why we started trolling around these areas is because we're looking for porpoises. The reason why we're looking for porpoises is because we want to try to capture a uh, big yellowfin tuna. So as soon as we got to the area where we saw that there's a lot of chlorophyll, uh, we started trolling big heavy uh, lures so that in case that we get something, we're going to be catching a blue or black marlin instead of a small uh, striped marlin. We don't want to target at all striped marlins because it'll just take time for, uh, uh, from us. And uh, the reason why we do want to attract big blue, blue, blue or black marlin too is because those are like uh, really good uh, pieces to actually target, species to target, especially right now with uh, upcoming tournaments. So this is kind of sort of practice at the same time for both, for, uh, for the Bisbees and the tuna tournaments as well. So right now, hopefully we get to land this uh, nice blue marlin that uh, this time I got to hook it. <laughs> hopefully we get to land this one and then after this one, we're gonna keep going and trying to uh, in search for the porpoises so that we can fly a kite with a helium balloon and try these, uh, our new, well, this one. He's a California flyer, we just got it in today, and I'm uh, anxious to give it a try. Hopefully it'll help us uh, to land a nice uh, yellowfin tuna, nice big yellowfin tuna. Mira, ooh, beautiful. Que bonito that way. Damn. That's a beautiful. Dale tu ahí, no, este Héctor, para poder filmarlo ahorita, por favor. Mira, que bonito, güey. There he comes, that's a blue marlin. He was right on top of the water right now. You want to take some of these home too? If you guys want to, you can. So you, you brought a cooler, you still have space in your cooler, huh? Yeah, but people up there, they, you tell them it's This is really good. And they're like, uh, no, but blue marlin know, is really good. They don't understand up there. We'll see right now how big it is. I already let the big one go for the tournament, so. They say even if you let them go, they, they don't stick around. Oh, oh, that was pretty cool. You guys heard me fighting a nice blue marlin. <laughs> yes, sir. We've been fighting a nice uh, blue morning for a little bit now. It's already almost here. Poquito de presión. Damn. <laughs> that was a beast. <laughs> Good hook set. Yeah. Good hook set. I know. <laughs> Como una 250, 260. No. Vea que sí. No creo que llegue la 300, ¿verdad? No, yo creo que si agarramos uno así, no, no lo quisiera ir a pesar, ¿verdad? Está muy chaparrito, pero sí está hey. concho. Mire, ah, sí, yo pensaba que era otro. Oh, it was awesome. Just pulled so hard and watching it jump up in the sun, it was just, it was an amazing experience. Did you know what you had on before? See I didn't see it when we first hooked it. The captain said he th thought it was a blue, and then halfway through the fight when it came up, and then got to know that it was a blue marlin. Ha, 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 ha.
Vámonos, Ricky. Ok, esta. Está sacando bien, está sacando. Ok, eh, hey, let's reel really it in. Sí, ya paró, no, si sí está sacando bien todavía. Vete hasta acá afuera, hasta afuera. No, para acá está el clavo, güey. Para acá vamos a ganar el torneo. This is where we're gonna win the tournament. Okay, so we have Igor now fighting uh, what it seems to be a blue Marlin number two. That would be so awesome. It's actually pretty cool that we get to catch two, two blue. Uh, we've been looking for blue Marlin for a while now and we haven't been able to find them and it's just persistence. Huh? <laughs> persistence keep trying and trying and keep, keep putting some time in the water. Looking at the right wrong water temperatures and everything. Yeah. And as soon as we found porpoises, we found porpoises because, like I said, we're going after the big tuna too. And, but we're getting strikes with some nice things, nice fish. Find the right. Yeah. Yeah, there's birds, there's porpoises here. Not a lot, but there were some. And they're going to start getting together because we saw only like two and then four on that side. And it seems like they're starting getting together, which is cool. We want them to get together so we can get the, 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 the big tuna. <laughs> it's a workout, huh? Slowly up. There you go. Feel all the beer from last night. Start reeling in before you even start going down. There you go. <laughs> Feels like a bus. <laughs> We didn't see it jump, so we're hoping that it, 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 it could be a tuna, but it doesn't seem... It doesn't look like a tuna. No, it doesn't seem like a tuna. Because as soon as we got to the porpoises, that's when we got this part. Is this a tuna? Yeah. Un guaco, un guaco. Y robado, oh, wey. Y robado. <laughs> we got a guaco. Vámonos, aguas porque muerde. Mira, that's a big guajo, too. Fuck yeah. Ahí, cuidado, cuidado porque muerde, machínese. That's a nice big guajo, too. That's fat. I won, I won a tournament with a one that big. <laughs> We found the honey hole. <laughs> Good job, guys. Thank you. That's what uh, Igor was fighting. How was it? Awesome. I do, are, are you good? Yeah, perfect. He was ball hooked, that's why he was really a little bit harder. Yeah. yeah. To reel it in. It but, wasn't that bad. I mean, what, 10, But that seems to happen with you. You fought a, a Martin ball hook the other day. Too. Exactly. Take <laughs> <laughs> Cabo, start fishing, baby. <laughs> All day long. Okay, so we just finished the day. Today, uh, Started off that we were gonna go try some uh, new toys that we had, like the uh, California Flyers, and uh, we ended up the day catching some uh, a big uh, blue fi uh, blue fin, sorry, <laughs> a big uh, blue marlin, and a, a nice big walk as well with our friends from California. This is Jeremy. Hello. He's, I know, I'm pretty sure you guys have seen him before. He's been here with us many, many years. He's a good friend of mine, and he were as well. Hola. And uh, I think we did pretty good. Yeah, yeah, it was awesome. I coming back in November. Yep, yep. Biggest, biggest blue marlin <laughs> I've ever caught. I mean, good job. All you guys killed it. So thank you very much for watching. If you guys like what you guys are uh, seeing, please subscribe to our channel. Click on the little bell button so that you guys can get alerts every single time we post a video. And see you guys soon. Peace. Bye.